In this video, we're going to be using Sterling Scarn and the Above the Tie SSRH2 razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we start the content, I want to tell you about our sponsor, Leaf. Whether you're looking for the Leaf razor, the twig, the thorn, great stuff. If you'd like to save 5% at Leaf, use discount code IMCDB and save yourself 5%. Thank you so much to Leaf for sponsoring the channel. All right, today we have a great one for you. Once again, we're going to be using Sterling Scarn, and the reason I'm going to pull out more of these soaps is great, great value and great, great quality. This comes to you for $14.25 for 5.8 ounces on a cost chart there, $2.45 an ounce, which is absolutely exceptional. The scent on this, fantastic. I'm going to put the notes for you on the screen right there or scent description. It's based on Dior Sauvage. Scent strength right at about the medium level, hovering around that medium level. Probably the light side of medium, but still medium. Absolutely terrific. I love the scent. This is a tallow base soap. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. Very easy to lather. Very easy to work with, as good as anything out there in terms of providing the slickness and everything you need to execute a good shave and the price. I mean, we, we're going to continue to hammer this one home. Great price, great value, and that's what we're going to use more and more of on the channel as time goes on and we're seeing these increases. And we're not going to beat that one to death today. We'll touch on it a little because some people just don't seem to wrap their head around what I'm getting at. That's okay. We'll talk about just just a little bit. All right. Let's get into it. Oh, I almost forgot the razor. We can't do that. <laughs> the Above the Tie SSRH2. This is all stainless steel made at Above the Tie. $195 made in the US. And Above the Tie has been making razors for about 10 years now. And all that time, they've raised their uh, premium razor $10 total, which I think is quite fair given what's going on. I'm not against increases across the board. I I'm against uh, increases that are appear to be unreasonable. So just for the record, let's mention that because people just seem to go out of their way to defend every price increase all the time from especially artisans who make software. And I'm like, in what world does a consumer constantly defend price increases except for this hobby? And I don't understand it. It's it's whack. It's whack. Anyway, <laughs> let's let's uh, let's get going today. And I tell you, uh, Sterling. Just fantastic, and Sterling has had increases the last couple of years. You can barely notice, why? Because they think about their increase, and they make their increase just enough to sort of cover some of the cost increases. Even though they've had to do it a number of times, the price is still exceptional, and that's what I'm getting at here. If the price is still great, phenomenal. That is the way, that is the way. Not, you know, tacking on $4 onto a splash, like fine, for example, and, four or five dollars just five years ago. And so if you pay attention to the way these artisans do business, you'll notice there is a difference. And I have had uh, Sterling on uh, Shave Talk, as you know, and we have talked about this. And he's like, hey, you know, I'm committed to, to great value and I don't want to take every penny from the pocket of my customers. We realize it's loyal customers buying things over and over and over. And we don't want to keep having those same people spending more than they need to. You know, we want to grow the hobby and grow our customer base. And I think Sterling has the right mindset. And quite frankly, companies like Sterling are agreeing to share the increased cost burden. So uh, a gent who's a really nice gent yesterday took the time to point out inflation to me as if I didn't know. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes, we all know prices are increases. Prices are increasing. That's precisely why we need good value right now here, because this is a hobby. I don't have to spend another dime here if I don't want to, all right? I don't have to. That's why we need good value, because it's hard for us to grow the hobby when people's people are having to tighten their belt. All right, so that that's a point I'm getting at. Let's get the shaving and we'll continue to talk. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I love these above the tie razors. And by the way, if you are looking to buy something from above the tie, use discount code IMCDB right there and you can save yourself 10%, which is awesome. And thank you if you do. Anyway, so with, with the prices of things going up, that's precisely why you need better value in hobbies because hobbies are not essential. Like you can buy a tub of soap and use it for months be done. We don't want that. We want people to continue buying things. And when they creep up and up and up, it makes it harder if they're not still reasonable as Starling is still reasonable. 
and they'll probably have to increase prices more. It will still be reasonable. That's just the way Sterling wants to operate as a company. Other companies, and keep in mind, I have the benefit of talking and knowing to a lot of people in this business on all sides. Some companies, quite frankly, have just said outright, we can charge more for the soap, so we're going to. That's simple, folks. Now, I'm not going to name their names because I'm not at liberty to say who they are. Uh, but believe me, um, when we see these significant price increases, I will, uh, I will show you what those are. And, you know, they'll be on that train we talked about the other day. So just keep in mind, there are artisans who are doing it in a way to try to share the cost burden with you. In other words, you're paying a little bit more. They're making a little bit less. So you're taking a hit, they're taking a hit. That's shared. But when you raise the price uh, high enough to cover everything, you are not sharing in that cost burden, which we all have to participate in. And then it becomes us. And we're the consumer. We don't have to buy. So keep that in mind. So today as I'm using Sterling and getting a fantastic shave and a company like Above the Tide that's raised their premium stainless steel razor $10 in 10 years, and that didn't happen until recently. For many years, the price was 185 or lower. And, you know, they felt the crunch now. And they've had to raise it a little bit. And I guarantee you, they're sharing some of this cost burden as well. And believe me, there are some companies that I really like that have raised prices. I'm going to talk about it. It doesn't matter who they are. I have a box setting right now from PAA that I'm going to open that they sent me. But I'm going to tell you right now, do I like that PAA dollar price increase on Soap and Splash? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Now, the fanboys, the fanboys will defend anything. You cannot listen to fanboys, folks. Fanboys will defend their brands. And there's, quite frankly, some unhealthy relationships between consumers and artisans. And I'm not talking about partnerships where we're helping each other. If you have a partnership, you still have to remain objective. But there are some brands that are so beloved that people will just excuse anything they do. And quite frankly, PAA was already $25 for CK6 for years before most other companies were. It was already too high in my opinion. And I say that liking them and using them and partnering with them. Um, but that's what you're going to get on this channel always. I'm always going to call it like I see it. And if that causes... Uh, me to never receive another promotional thing from PAA, so be it. The $1 increase on the, the tub and the splash at this time, it, it, you know, it's not, uh, in my opinion, the right call. And if CK, if the regular CK isn't available, which is well-priced in my opinion, I'm not going to buy CK6. It's that simple. And um, I know Douglas personally, and we talk and he would try to explain it to me, but right now when we're being crunched is not the time. And they were already high enough um, for years higher than most people on CK6 and so almost $25 a jar and uh, to me I can't justify it and so this is me doing what I have always done is calling it like I see it regardless my obligation folks is to you it doesn't matter that sometimes I get promotional stuff to show you if they never send me another thing so what don't care don't need it it's that simple and so I realized I said I was going to rant about prices and here I am <laughs> Open your eyes, people. Open your eyes and watch what's going on. Watch the way some artisans are doing it and watch the way others are doing it and spend your money wisely and accordingly. And these people like Sterling, they need your help right now because they're being squeezed. And they're being squeezed because they're choosing to help you. So you should be helping them. And it's that simple. And the ones who aren't and the ones who have taken this opportunity, when I know you have less money in your pocket because you go and you get a chicken breast and it was... Uh, a few months ago, it was $6, and now it's $9, $10. That's food for your family on the table. Which are you going to choose? Are you going to choose, if you're going to buy soap and you just have a little bit of income, get the sterling. Forgo some of these other ones that are, um, at this time, have chosen to, you know, to go a little further than I would like. But you have to make your own decisions, but I am suggesting that you watch what people are doing. And if you're not seeing it, you are not paying attention. Open your eyes, people. Open your eyes. So this is, this, is, uh, this is me getting back to the foundation of this channel, you know. And don't get me wrong, I'm still positive. I'm still happy. I'm still spreading the love. But I have a responsibility to my viewers above all. That is you. And thank you for being here. 
And some of you will disagree, that's okay. And some of you, quite frankly, are in the realm of fanboy, and I don't mean this being insulting, but you are not objective because you are too close to the artisans. And I am very close to many artisans and, um, and vendors too. But I will remain objective and I will call it out and you will see it here on this channel. And I might be the only one who does it. That's just the way it goes. I've always taken those hits as they come. But one thing for sure, I'm not going to start defending significant price increases in a time when people can't afford it for a hobby in which we don't have to buy this stuff. I'll just quit buying it first. I have before and I will do it again. So sorry for that rant. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the razor a little bit. Above the tie, fantastic people. I've, we've had them on Real Talk, if you recall, down to earth. Very nice people and they could probably use your support <laughs> as well during this time. They've been squeezed, everybody's being squeezed. I have always gotten great shaves from above the tie. It was one of the first premium razors that I had my sights set on. And they do have a section there for like um, sort of a scratch and dent. Uh, they use a different term, ugly or something like that. Check that section out too. So you, you might be able to squeeze some value out of there. And that would be fantastic. And the scar in here, I'm telling you right now, my experience with uh, the Sterling Soap, it's every bit as good as CK6 all day, every day. Um, and it's a lot cheaper <laughs> at $2.45 an ounce. Not that I don't like CK6, because I do, but I have said before, and I'll say now, that even when CK6 was available, if I could buy the regular CK, which I think is still a good value, and I will buy that, I would buy that over CK6 every day because I don't think CK6 is special. I think it's a very good vegan soap. Maybe one of the best vegan soaps. It's not special compared to CK4, in my opinion. And don't, uh, don't get me wrong, because I've said similar things about a lot of new formulas, whereas like Pete Charcalis, every formula he's ever made has been good. Any of them are more than adequate. And so I feel the same way about CK6. And I realize some people will fall all over themselves trying to defend and, you know, carry on. But trust me, this soap right here, if you can't get the slickness out of this that you need for a shave, you really need to work on your lathering. You should be able to get a perfect shave out of this. Um, lather it properly, it will treat you right, and they will treat your wallet right. <laughs> and that's really, really important. So I hope today you're not, um, I hope you're not, sort of put off um, by my candor because I still love this hobby and I'm speaking for you or being an advocate for your wallet because I love this hobby. My passion is in this hobby. I want more people to do it. I want people to be able to afford to do it. And what we're seeing right now by some, it's the wrong time. It's the wrong time. And sadly, you know, um, I've talked to many people and they're like, hey, I'm being more selective. And so, you know, so what I'm asking you today is look to some of these companies that are treating you right. And I'm going to put out word right now to companies with whom um, I have relationships or sometimes they send me promotional things. If you're going to send me a soap that's six plus dollars an ounce or in the whack range of my scale, I'll put it up there. If it's in the whack range, do not send it to me. I do not want it. Do not send it to me. I don't want it. I am not going to promote it on my channel. Now, might I promote a one-off something from time to time? Might I buy it, promote it? Yes, but please do not send me an evaluation product if it is in the whack range of my scale, which I just showed. I don't want it, so don't send it. And I don't mean any offense by that, but it's just not, it is not in line with my values and my obligation to my viewers. Not at this time. When things normalize and everybody has a little more money to spend, maybe we'll consider it. But right now, don't send it. Um, I don't want it. And uh, that's the absolute truth. And that's where I stand. So it would be hypocritical to, uh, to sit here and get a soap that costs $7 an ounce and show it to you that's been sent to me for free and go, oh my God, it's the greatest thing. It'd be very hy hypocritical. I'm not going to do it. It's that simple. And if you do send me something that's, that's had a significant uh, price increase, I'm going to talk about it 
And I'm just putting you on notice. I'm going to tell people, hey, he just tacked on a dollar to this, just letting you know you might want to go somewhere else. So just be warned. Fair warning. All right. A lot of ranting there. I apologize if it took a turn, but believe me, this is because I love this hobby. My passion. I love it. I love you guys. And you guys are, are the ones who are important to me. I just hope you understand that. All right. Let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off came. We did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse. And then we tied off with the Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an exceptional shave today with sterling scarring. Remember folks, the price is right, the quality is good, the scent is great. Please give these companies like Sterling a look right now when they're really feeling the crunch. They're looking out for you, you should be looking out for them. Uh, the razor for today was the Above the Tie SSRH2, quite efficient, wonderful razor made in the United States. And don't forget, if you do want to buy something from Above the Tie, use discount code IMCDB and save yourself 10% off. Thank you if you do. We use the AP Shade Co. Brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug. And we'll finish it off again, once again today, with the Quiet Man Splash right here. And remember, folks, uh, try to do your best to help those who need it right now. And, you know, we can probably use a little less of those things where they're not necessarily treating us right as I see it. Uh, the other people really need your help. The ones who are already high have been high for years. Um, they could afford to take a little less now, quite frankly. So thank you so much for watching, folks. And before we get out of here, once again, remember, take care of those artisans that are taking care of you and vendors right now. Please, they could use your help. Until next time, God bless.